Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming by today. So I'm going to show you guys a new acquisition that I just got. Um, this is a Victorinox executive. Now, um, as you guys know, I'm a Swiss Army knife lover, so I'm constantly on the lookout and on the hunt for other sacks to add to my collection. And um, this is one that I've been after for a while. I just, well, I can't say I've been after it for a while. I, I I've wanted one for a while and then just recently I decided to get one and this happens to be a vintage model All right, uh, as you can see it's used it's got some divots and some scratches on the scales and uh, I polished this thing up and cleaned it so it was much much dirtier and worse than this and now it is shining which is fantastic uh, I love sort of cleaning up these old vintage models or used models from the 80s or 70s because um, you can get some really good deals and find some amazing sacks. And uh, with a little bit of polishing and cleaning and oiling and restoration, these guys, they come right back to new uh, or like new or just restore the glory of these things. And um, yeah, the, I got this, it was really dirty, I got a great deal on it, it was only $15. And um, if you guys know, or if you don't know, these, this is a 74 millimeter uh, Victorinox, and they discontinued the whole 74 millimeter line um, in 2020. So uh, no more 74s are being made. Uh, they've been out of production for you know close to three years now. And um, so these are getting harder and harder to find um, for decent prices, you know, collectors are snatching them up and uh, selling them on secondary markets and raising the price, of course, like, you know, speculators and collectors like to do. Um, so these are, you know, you can find them, you can find executives out there, you can even find ones that are uh, still new in the box, but the prices are very high um, for this uh, size of knife. So if you want an executive, I would... Um, scour around for a used one and um you know clean it all up and uh, they make awesome pieces for your collection but uh, I, I wouldn't really wait too long because the prices on these are probably just going to go higher and higher as they disappear from the secondary market but anyway so uh let me show you what a 74 millimeter knife is uh like in size compared to some of their other um sizes available here is a 91 uh, i'm sorry 93 millimeter um, Victorinox. Here is a 91. This is a Pioneer. This is a compact. Um, so you got the 93, the 91, and then here is a Recruit. Uh, this one is in the um, um, 84 millimeter size. Then would come the 74 millimeter size. And then of course you have your uh, 58 millimeter uh, classic uh, SD here. So as you can see, the 74 occupies a very nice uh, position in sort of this um, size range that's available from Victorinox, you know. Um, it's bigger and more um, capable, I think, than your your um, 58 millimeter knives, although I love these and I think that they're great tools. Um, I think you can get a little bit more done with uh, this size. And uh, as you can see, it's... Um, it's bigger, but not much thicker. Uh, a little bit thicker, but but not by much. And I think that's one of the beauty, uh, beautiful things about the 74s are that they just make really nice compact carries. Now, when you go up to the 84, um, it starts to get um, thicker. You know, this is a two-layer Swiss Army knife, um, actually. Uh, it's a three-layer, is it? Would this be considered a three layer? I think this would be considered a two layer. Even though there's three tools here, I only see two layers. Yeah, so the, the executive is a two layer knife and um, here's a two layer um, 84, the recruit. And you can see it's, it's substantially thicker and larger. So um, if you want a nice compact carry, you know, if you're just going out and wearing a pair of slacks or whatever, uh, just, just light pants or whatever, um, these guys may be a little too much. And uh, so you go with one of these guys, and this might be not enough for you. So the 74 is a great size. Uh, so I'm actually kind of bummed out that they uh, have discontinued that. Um, it would be that size. It would be nice to see, um, you know, more production of this particular knife uh, model and others in this size. But hey, what can you do? Economics. So um, let's take a look at the tool set of the executive. 
And uh, yeah, we'll go from there and I'll just show you guys why I like this knife so much. So um, here is the main blade uh, and you get a pretty decent size uh, main blade on this thing. Um, you know, it's that classic Victorinox um, spare point or drop point, however you want to refer to it. Um, there is the Tang stamp. I'm sorry, there's some fingerprints on there. Um, this, this blade had rust or rust residue all over the Tang uh, stamp there. And over here, I was able to polish it up and clean it actually quite nicely. So it's, it's actually came out really, really nice. Um, and you know, you can see some scratches and stuff on it because this is a vintage blade. Um, but yeah. Fantastic size. Um, I want to compare it to a classic SD size. And show you guys what I mean here. Um, take a look at that. You know, um, you can get, you know, more work done with this. Um, you know, this is probably better for cutting fruit and stuff um, rather than the 58 millimeter blade, which is great for packages and you know smaller cutting projects. But but this, when you start to get into this size, you can actually get. Um, a little bit more work done with that. So that's one of the things I really like about the um, the 74s is um, the blade size. It's just, it, it's perfect for just a compact carry. Um, you also get the classic and awesome, just kind of bizarre tool, the, uh, the orange peeler. Um, so it, this is uh, sharpened, it's a little bit serrated, and then it does also have a little bit of a sharpened um, section there and you know you're supposed to drag this along the peel and uh, peel oranges <laughs> and this was also quite dirty when I got it and quite scratched up I was able to polish out a lot of the scratches but you can still see some of them which is fine but it's nice and clean now no rust or anything on it uh, really excited about it and it also doubles as a small um, fine flathead screwdriver there but the orange peeler tool on the executive and I think there's another model that used it called the director um, is quite uh, unique and just interesting I think it's one of the things that makes me uh, or draws me to this particular model and um, I think a lot of collectors to this model <laughs> so yeah the orange peeler tool um, and then the other tool you get on this side is I think think you get, you get a, um, ugh, sorry guys, you get a smaller little uh, small blade, small secondary blade. Um, now you may be saying, oh, that would be cool if that was actually a nail file. Well, on the other side, uh, on the back side here, you get a nail file and a nail cleaner. So this was also very, very dirty, guys. You can probably still see um, some of the staining and stuff here. I cleaned this up really nice and uh, it just came out great. Uh, but yeah, you got the nail file with this pretty unique filing uh, marks and patterns. Uh, for, then you got that tip for uh, cleaning nails underneath your nails, right? And then uh, you also get the scissors. Now, uh, this is a uh, really nice pair of scissors. It's got a great spring and the spring is I guess one of the ways that you can uh, date this particular uh, model because or this version because uh, it's a single leaf spring and it is actually not a stainless steel spring. It is a um, carbon spring and so uh, when I opened this thing up there was a lot of rust here. This is where all the rust came from in this knife is um, it's rust residue from the carbon spring. Uh, rusting over many many years and sort of dropping deposits and stuff inside here and um, on the other tools but this pair of scissors is great it's still very very sharp and it works awesome so yeah you also get that and then you do get scale tools you get a uh, pair of tweezers um, some stuff on the tweezers there some polish uh, so you get the tweezers and of course you get the accompanying toothpick. Now, I don't think, I can't be certain, but I don't think that these are the original um, scale tools for this knife. They could be. Um, I just, I thought that, I'm not sure when this uh, plastic tip came about on the tweezers um, versus the, the all metal one or the nickel silver one that they had. Um, so I don't know if those are original. Um, they look kind of nice and newer. Um, so if someone could actually tell me that, that would be great. If someone can actually date 
this particular executive based on what I've shown, that would be awesome. I would highly appreciate that. Uh, someone told me that it was from the 70s, um, but I don't know that for certain. It would be great if somebody actually could tell me. So yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys today. Thank you for coming by. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this is, I'm really, really excited and happy at how nice this thing came out. And um, this is going to, uh, this is going to share a really nice spot in my collection with all of the other uh, Swiss Army knives that I have. Um, anyway, thank you so much for coming by, guys. Really appreciate it. Please leave a like and or subscribe or comment. Let me know if you have the executive and if you like it, uh, if you carry it, um, if it's one of your favorite sacks or not, and uh, what other ones like it that you think... Uh, are similar that you would recommend or uh, let me know if you're into uh, vintage uh, Vic, um, Swiss Army knives and cleaning them up and restoring them. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Have a very good day. Be safe. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.